All right, thank you, Sandra. Well, a big day here in Indianapolis. Unfortunately, we have some rain today and a chance every day this week for storms, even a chance of severe weather mixed into all of that. And our meteorologist Sean Ash is here tonight at 5. He's got the timing of these spring showers and a break that comes just in time for your weekend. Hey, Sean. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, buckle up. It's going to be a little wet ride here over the next uh, four or five days. We'll start with this evening. It's a little good news with the latest uh, runs of live Doppler 13 radar. A few hit miss sprinkles, a couple little light showers. Hours, but not a lot around the metro area. It's the more uh, heavier concentration along the eastern half of the state. That includes Muncie over toward Winchester, Richmond included, Shelbyville and Rushville, where this has kind of been the main path of more moderate showers and might even have a few rumbles of thunder downstate. I think we're a little too stable to see much in terms of lightning across the metro area. So it's probably about a 30, 40 percent chance that any of the fans downtown are going to see any of these showers popping up. Temperatures across the board ranging from about 60 in Lafayette, 61 in Seymour. Don't have a big spread because of the cloud cover around. The cloud cover that's going to keep our temperatures in the upper 50s during the overnight. So all eyes on Lucas Oil Stadium. 59 southwest wind at 8 miles per hour. And the planner for this evening is generally to expect these temperatures to stay in the upper 50s. Might sneak into the lower 60s briefly with a chance of a few uh, light showers passing by between say now and midnight. But this does mark the beginning of a fairly active stretch for us. There will be waves of rain and storms. The potentials there for a few strong thunderstorms or severe weather and the highest chance of that would likely be on Thursday and then we do dry out for the weekend. So again, timing is going to be critical here the next few days as we go through the overnight into tomorrow morning. We'll call it scattered might even have a few rumbles of thunder around and then the potential for some scattered strong storms tomorrow. We'll call it potential at this point in time. Uh, temperature is going to have a range tomorrow for sure. 57 in Peru. There's going to be a front that stalls out across us. We think Indianapolis Point South definitely sneak into the 70s and it will have more of a humid feel to the air. Here's future track 13. So we've got showers around this evening going into tomorrow uh, morning possibly in the more humid, unstable air to our south could be the bullseye from Louisville to Evansville, but close enough that it warrants possibility here across the central section of the state. One thing to note, we're not anticipating all day rains Tuesday or Wednesday, may have several dry hours and then see the atmosphere reload. This is by Wednesday at 7 a.m. So there goes another complex. Notice Wednesday at 5 p.m. right now, it might be more of the hit and miss variety. Here comes another wave Thursday morning and we've been targeting Thursday right now as the highest chances from start to finish during the day. Unfortunately, that comes on opening day at Victory Field. Rain amounts between now and say Thursday afternoon, one to three inches, depending on some of the track of these uh, thunderstorms. So a lot to kind of mark out here over the next few days. This uh, breaks down the next seven. 72 tomorrow, mid 70s with scattered storm chances. Wednesday and Thursday we will be live out at Victory Field for opening day at, uh, for the Indians. And then we get ready for the Indy 11 home opener on Saturday. Weather looks nice, mostly sunny Saturday and Sunday with highs in the 60s.